Hello, I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. Welcome back to another zigzag where I talk about this, that, and the other. I have a few hauls here and a few items that I wanted to share with you guys that I've been using for a few weeks now that I'm completely obsessed with. So, if you guys watched the last video, the Had to Be Moon collection, you probably were like, we'll see you in February. No, she released another collection. <laughs> And at first glance, I was like, I don't need this collection. Like, there's nothing that I really want. They're all shades that I don't see myself wearing too much or the sparkly shade in here. I thought it was very similar to Fuzzy Socks, but I saw more swatches and I was just like, oh, damn it, I need it. I mostly needed Sugar Baby, which is this one right here. These are the collections for the birthday of Brett. And it's the birthday of Life's Lacquer, even though it's technically November. That they're celebrating in January for their one year anniversary of the Lights Lacquer line, which is exciting and cute. The packaging's cute. I used to love to wear pink when I was younger. Um, I don't have that much pink though, but I don't like hate it. It's just not something that I gravitate towards. I'm always, you know, in the blue land. <laughs> but I do like these shades. I think these are very similar. I think the difference is that this one's more pink, where this one has a more peach. So here we are another haul from Lights Lacquer. So let's just get into that. Oh, and if you guys wanted to, you know, buy anything, you can always use this code to save 10%. Highly recommend using the codes. And what's funny is that I bought this on Thursday after the website crashed and everyone was like freaking out. I was, I was like, my God, this cannot be happening. But then I took it as a sign, but no, I didn't let that. I just kept, kept refreshing. And finally it was there, but I purchased the, um, the trio of the treatments because I'm really loving them and I'm down dangerously low and I don't know when she's going to release them in a full size. So I decided to pick that up, not knowing that this, this was going to be released because I think I picked it up on either Saturday or Sunday of last week. That still isn't here, even though it's been in transit forever. <laughs> I got this Thursday and it's already here and it's Saturday. That's crazy. Like I've never had anything come so fast, which is exciting, but I didn't expect it. I had hoped to have, um, showing you guys together, but you know, let's just dive in. This is what the packaging looks like. My nails are all messed up, but you know what? It is what it is. Maybe I'll paint them a different color while this video goes on because I have a few things else to show you, but okay. Let's just get in here in this little box. And I believe this is $27, I think, or 29. I don't remember, but I'll, I'll link it so you guys can check it out. Oh, they're so pretty. So it's a sugar baby. This is the one I thought was very similar to like Holiday Armadillo or Fuzzy Socks, but the holographic glitter in this is much bigger and it's like a pinky color. I think this is going to be so pretty. There was one shade by OPI with a Katy Perry collection back in like 2009, maybe 2010. And it was, I think it was, it's not like the movies. I can't remember the name of the shade, but it was a glitter just like this and I was obsessed with it and it was limited edition and it never came back. Oh, it broke my heart because it was so beautiful and I think this is going to be very similar to that. So excited for Sugar Baby. The pink that I liked the most was Strawberry Frosting. I used to be obsessed with strawberry milk as a kid. <laughs> I just loved drinking something that pink. Uh, and yeah, this is very, very like strawberry frosting pink like classic pink hopefully it's coming up i know the lighting's weird it's been snowing so we got that gray lighting and this one is candy clouds so yeah let's try them on okay so on my left hand i applied two coats of strawberry frosting three coats of sugar baby on the middle finger and then one coat over two coats <laughs> on my thumb so here we have strawberry frosting and then this uh, Sugar Baby, to me, is an exact dupe for Teenage Dream by OPI. I had to Google it after I started painting my nails. And the shade that Katy Perry did with OPI was called Teenage Dream. And I think this is an exact dupe for it. Possibly a little bit more sparkly. It's so beautiful, though. You could easily get away with just two coats on one finger. That's how opaque it is. But I wanted that full opacity, so that's what I did here. I really like... I'm not, I don't regret this purchase at all. I hesitated on whether or not to get it, but I'm so glad I did. <laughs> and then here we have, what is it? Candy clouds, cotton clouds, candy clouds. 
same deal. Actually, no. Candy clouds, I had to do three coats to get it to be completely opaque. Um, same deal, three coats of the sugar baby and then three over one over here. So you can see there is a difference in them. So I don't, I don't regret having two similar pink shades because they are pretty different and they go with different moods. Like to me, this is more of a spring color, like going into summer where this is definitely like a February color. I found my pinks ready for February. <laughs> and again, I am so in love with Sugar Baby. It has such a beautiful sparkle. This is just natural lighting. Let me hit it with some flash. Here it is with flash. So hopefully you can see a little bit more of that like sparkle. And I applied it super quickly and a little messy, but whatever. But I think you guys get, you guys get it. Look at that. Look at that sparkle. Oh my God. So yeah, let me know what color you guys like from this collection. Did you guys pick anything up from this one? <laughs> Like I said, the website crashed. It was like so stressful, but I'm so glad I finally managed to get it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun with these shades. They have like much gentle vibe to them, which I I need. I need some of that like soothing rose quartz energy, which I feel like pink always gives me. All right, on to the next from Witch Baby Soap from her Valentine's Day launch. Um, like always, they give you a card with how you can find them with the five percent off discount code. Abracadabra, which I think is cool. And instead of the usual like Witch Baby Soap logo sticker, they sent two new ones, which I believe they did this design. It says Be Mine on like soaps. And they're supposed to be throwbacks to like 90s tattoos, which I totally see. <laughs> Back in the day when they just had like the standard pictures and that's what all you had to choose from because no one really did like their own, which is really cute. And I thought that was, that was neat and a surprise. So I picked up two of her magnetism hand salves. I'm going to put the description up on the screen because I don't have them here. And they don't really say much else on, on the actual salve. Uh, so the description seemed like maybe something I would love. Uh, I can't remember it now, but I remember, I think it had Blackberry or something. Um, this is what it looks like. And uh, on smelling it, it reminds me of a very popular fragrance, oil, and wax. And this is one thing I talked about before in another video, how I thought she had the unique ability to make these scents. I didn't know she was using like common fragrance oils, which was like a big bummer. And a little like, made me fall out of love a little bit. It has that effervescence, citrusy, I want to say like fairy floss or something, not fairy floss, fairy fizz or something. I usually get that scent from uh, Rose Girls like once a year, but it smells exactly like that, like a, a citrusy, effervescent scent. Yeah, I wish I could remember the name. Yeah, but it smells just like that. So I'm a little bummed on the scent because it doesn't smell like something I want to be smelling all day long. Because um, if you don't like the scent of her hand salves, <laughs> at least for me, if I'm not like super in love and it's not like in the background in any way, it can be kind of distracting from anything else that I'm wearing or just I keep smelling that. Um, so I have tried this one out already. I do like, of course, the way it feels on my hands, but the scent I'm not crazy about. I picked up her Honey Pot Bath Potion. It's to smell like honeycomb and copal. That's mostly what I got on the first sniff, which is the copal, the resiny scent. Um, but here's what it says on the back. Let me give it another smell. I'm excited to use this. I need a bath today. I love taking a bath when it's snowing. Mm. Yeah, it has like a sweet scent to it, to it definitely, but not, I don't know, I expected more honeyness. I'm having a hard time touching stuff because I just did my nails. Um, so they're probably going to be messed up by the time this video is done. But there seems to be some, I don't know if that's hibiscus. Is there hibiscus in here? And it looks like rose hip. Oh, but there is hibiscus. I know. I can find her anywhere. So that'll be a cool color of water that we're going to get from that. Um, but I like the scent of this. It's not as resiny as it was when I first smelled it. It definitely has a sweeter, interesting vibe. So looking forward to using that. I feel like this is, these are, I think, $10. Let me look at the... Yeah, the hand salves are 10, the bath potions are $20, which I think is a good deal because I don't use all of, I don't use that much in a bath. I like to mix it up with what I put, like salts and herbs and then a little bit of this bath potion. 
So I think it's a good value for the amount that you get, 12 ounces for 20 bucks compared to uh, like a bath bomb, which is four ounces for like 650 or something, you know, so. Okay, so that is that. <laughs> and I guess along the magnetism line, I also picked up her magnetism bath bomb. It sits there. Okay, now that I took the plastic off, yeah, it definitely smells just like the hand set. Cool. <laughs> But in a bath bomb, I won't mind, but like I said, in the hands that I'm not crazy about that. And these little hearts are $6.50. And this is the cord cutter bath bomb, which she has it set up for you to cut cords as a ritual. And you just snip it before you put it in the bath bomb, which I think is interesting and cool. This one smells really good. A nice, like, smoky, like, sultrier scent. And then we have the Twin Flame Bath Bomb, which I think is really beautiful, the colors they chose for that. This one's also $6.50. This one smells really good. There's like a sweet, a sweetness to it. But I also picked up the scrub, so let me see what it says on there. And I picked up the eight ounces of the Twin Flame Body Scrub, which is $15. Her scrubs are my favorite. Feed the fire with a seductive blend of glowing embers, deep florals, and lacy lingerie. Twin Flame is a symbolic blend of charcoal with sugar and roses mirrors the sweetness and the shadow aspect of the Twin Flame myth mythos. Ooh, cool. All right. Smell. I definitely get the smokiness to it and like the fire. Hmm. Cannot wait to use that. Okay. So that was everything from Witch Baby Soap. I picked up the scrub from Pharmaca a couple of weeks ago. I've been looking for a new scrub. I haven't used a scrub in a while. And I felt like my skin just needed that little like refresher on my face. It just felt like I needed to, needed to sloth off some skin. <laughs> uh, and I'm very, very, very picky about what I put on my face because my face is very sensitive. And I liked the serum that I've been using from them. So I figured I'd check it out. I know Evan Healy had a scrub at one point. She doesn't anymore. So, I looked here, they had one. This one seemed like the least offensive. And here's what it says on the back about it. And it's a very, very fine scrub. Cause I used to use scrubs all of the time back in the day. And I felt like it was a good thing, but I don't know what happened. I just fell out of it. But I don't know if you guys can see. It has like the feel of like an ultra fine sugar. And the lemon, the lemon cream is like very nice and subtle. And I like it, I feel like my skin just feels a lot more glowy and like revived when I use this. So if you're looking for a new scrub or something similar to a like cleanser slash scrub, this is great because it has a cream base. So it's not just like pure on scrub and it does have a milkiness to it once you rinse it off. And I've been really enjoying this facial polish and I will pop up the price here on the screen somewhere because <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember. And this, you get four ounces, and I really have been really impressed with Sanitas so far. And along the facial line, I finally decided to splurge and treat myself. I picked up the Lanshin Gua Sa Pro Facial Tool. I've been wanting this for a few years now, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. <laughs> but I decided, you know what, it's time, because I've been using the one that I got in a, a Goddess Persians box, and it's okay, it's just basic. It doesn't have all the special things that the, that the Launch and Pro does. So this is how it came. It came really fancy and I felt like super special and you get this little carrying case for it. This is what it looks like. You get the ridges that are meant to go like on your jawline and then these are for like your cheek or whatever you, you'll see. I'll link a video of how she uses this. It's amazing. You get a little lip right here. You get this little like brush. The only thing it doesn't have is like a place for like your thumb, but that's fine. Like I've been really, really enjoying this. I've seen a huge difference already. Like I guess the other one just is not cutting it. I forget what kind of stone they use. Okay, here's what it says about the stone. And I have to be careful because I have tiles in my bathroom. So I'm always like, oh my God, every time it slips out of my hand. But here is, and she designed this. I think it has a patent on it. 
And again, I will link the video. It's just so informative and she tells you all the ways with which you can use it. Huge difference in the way my face feels, the way everything is applied, everything, even the tension in my neck. I've been obsessed with it. I've been using the other one for my body, so. And I believe this was 105, I wanna say. And then when you spend $100, you get free shipping. So that was great. And it came all the way from, from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, my face just feels so much more revived. Um, I was starting to see like a neck, like a neckline developing, like not anything like huge, but just enough to where I'm like, I don't remember that being there. And I feel like it's almost gone just from like having the blood flow and everything. It's amazing. If you haven't ever used a guasa, I highly, highly, highly recommend investing in one, even one of the little cheapies, like you don't have to spend this much on yours. I just felt like I've been doing it now for a couple of years and it's time to invest in a, in a better tool that is meant for all like the nooks and crannies. The other tools can't get to, and she has a bunch of other tools um, for like the body and one that you put water in and you know, maybe treats for myself <laughs> at some other point in time. But I don't regret this in any way whatsoever. This has been such a game changer for my face and just everything. And I try to only use it like at night or in the morning and no more than that. The first night I was a little too rough around my eyes and I noticed that they were like red and I was like, okay, I need to take it easy. So I highly suggest watching videos on how to do it. I really like her technique and she explains again, everything is in the video. It's super informative and long and you can just see the differences in people when they do like before and afters of how your face looks. It just looks more sculpted and glowy. I love guasa. Guasa is life. <laughs> Now, the last thing in this video is going to be my haul from Scarlet Rose Scents, which was formerly known as Tiffany Candles. I placed an order, I think, last week, and I got here today. It all came inside of a Kiafari, and it was, like, filled to the brim, and so everything kind of is smushed. And one thing, um, the bag broke, so I had to replace that. But I'll show you guys first the samples that she sent me. She sent me a bunch of samples. She's always beyond generous with the samples, like one of the sweetest vendors, um, other than I think the bathing garden where they just like load you up with samples, which I appreciate because that's how I discover new scents. Like I know vendors don't have to give you samples. I'm always really grateful when they do because that way you can try out other things that you might think might not appeal to you. I've had many scents come from her samples and I'm like, oh, I didn't know I was gonna love this. <laughs> so it's always very much appreciated. The first one she sent is Marshmallow Donut Chop Vanilla Latte. I got like a cute little like cookies or something. I don't know, it's really cute little shape. Mmm, that smells really good. Oh, that kind of reminds me of, I think it's Elm Street. It's a scent that her and um, Vintage Chic Scents do together. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, this is so cute. You get like a little flower. And then another little like sunflower on top of a cookie. I'm hungry. Everything's a cookie to me right now. <laughs> another flower. That is so freaking adorable. I love that. And it smells really good. I definitely get the marshmallow and the vanilla and a little bit of the donut. Um, and the latte and the creaminess. That's going to be a good morning blend. Okay. And then butter, brickle, orange, caramel crumble. Oh, that sounds good too. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I definitely get the orange, but it's kind of like an orange soda type of scent. Interesting. Or like a spicy orange. I don't know how I feel about that. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like bizarre. It smells like a bunch of things all at once. Like you get the caramel and the like, like almost like an orange sticky bread that has soda. <laughs> Oh. And then bite me creamy vanilla pink frosted cake. Oh, okay. Bite me is usually a very lethal, strong, uh, like fruit punch cherry scent. So let's see how that is. This is super, super melty. Oh yeah, definitely bam with the bite me. I don't smell anything else other than bite me. Hmm. I think I'm going to pass that on to my friend because she's getting into wax. I think this will be a fun one for her to try out. <laughs> she might like it. To me, Bite Me has a very strong like cherry effervescent note, which is hard. But it also kind of smells like Dr. Pepper. Like a Dr. Pepper bubblegum. Um, if I can find the scent descriptions, I'll pop them up on the screen as well. 
Lemon Chiffon Unicorn Tears. I've tried her Unicorn Tears before. I think it's kind of like a sugary candy scent. Interesting. I like the way this smells. The lemon is interesting. It's not like a bakery lemon. It's not a fresh lemon either. It's like a lemon, a lemon candy lemon. <laughs> I think that'll be a good kitchen scent. Raspberry Lemonade Lemon Verbena. Ooh. This is a very clean, effervescent scent. I definitely get the earthiness of the Lemon Verbena. I don't smell a raspberry. I definitely get the lemon. Like, it's definitely like a cleaner lemon. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Lemon Poppy Seed Vanilla Be Noel Marshmallow Fluff. I get the lemon and it's um, a cross between a bakery and a cleaner lemon. This is all I can say. I've got a lot of lemon in my nose. Okay, the last two samples. Christmas tree. You got a cute little like cake slice. Oh, that smells really good. Mm. I also like tree scents when it's snowing, so this will be good today. I'm gonna pop that in one of my warmers. And then I got a little shot of Bonsai Lemon Fabuloso. I definitely get that Bonsai. I tried the Bonsai scent a while ago. So to me, it kind of smells like a pine sol, like a lemon pie sol. Lemon pine sol, why can't I talk? <laughs> Get a lemon pine salt scent from that. Okay, so those are just the samples. Isn't that ridiculous? Like, so, so generous. Okay, now onto what I actually ordered. So the one that had a little bit of an explosion was this one, which is the Amazing Grace Stress Relief. I like her stress relief. I've had it before. Amazing Grace. I think I had that perfume back in the day, but I do like that scent. So I figured, why not? This is all that happened, but you know, I don't want it to escape. Oh my god, that smells so good. I get the Amazing Grace. And the Stress Relief. That's crazy. I can smell them both. <sighs> that smells really good. I really dig that. It's hard to describe which one. Because you get Amazing Grace first and then you get the Stress Relief. That is so good. This can be a, an amazing bathroom scent. I'm happy with that one. And that was... You get five to 5.9 ounces for $6.75. Actually, she sent me another sample in stress relief on its own. Sorry, I thought that was something I ordered. Oh, that just that's just so good. It's such a good stress relieving scent. Clean and sexy, which is one of her four pack of roses which is $4. Doesn't say the ounces, but you guys can see. You got like four of those. Ooh, that is clean and sexy. It's so definitely have that like sexy in a guy cologne, but in a woman's perfume. It's clean and fresh. It's sexy. <laughs> I really like that. You guys know I like my clean perfumey scents, so that's gonna be great. Oh, so many good sets. I'm so excited. And then I actually ordered So White in a scent shop, but she sent me White Clouds, which is totally fine. Because um, I like White Clouds, even though So White is different because it's more of a clean apple scent, or White Clouds is more of a sweet laundry scent. So let's see. And the scent shots are $2.50. And you get this nice, I think it's like two ounces or two and a half, maybe. Yep, White Clouds Classic Delicious Scent. Okay. And then I picked up a Sassy Chunk in Green Apple with Sea Salt and Cocoa Bean Overpour, which was 625 
and it's 5.5 ounces. And this got like broken, but it's fine. Because it all gets broken up anyways. But I think it was a cute little like flower, flower like square. Sorry, it's all breaking apart in there, but you guys can kind of see the flower. Ooh, I get the green apple right away. And then the cocoa bean, that's so weird. It reminds me of, I don't know, back in my youth, it was real popular to use like the cocoa butter with like a hand cream. So it goes in between that sharp green apple and then the cocoa bean. That's crazy. That's a crazy combo. It's so like opposite, like fresh. And then you get this like smoky, sultry cocoa bean. <laughs> I don't get any of the sea salt, but we'll see what it's like on warm. And then I picked up a star, which is, uh, I think 3.9 ounces and it's $4. And I got the scent Raspberry Glazed Donut and Marshmallow Fireside. That just sounded really good. Oh yeah, that's so good. I get that Raspberry Glaze. Everything's making me so freaking hungry. Oh, so good. I want to eat that. <laughs> you get that Raspberry. It reminds me of those... Those pastries that you could get from Costco, the one that was like the raspberry jam in the center with like the cream. It, this smells just like that little center. Let's see if we can pop up a picture of it. That's what it smells like. Okay. And then I picked up a little um, mini baby doll bag, which is five to 5.9 ounces for 675 of Twisted Mermaid and Lord of Misrule. I like Lord of Misrule. I'm not sure what her Twisted Mermaid is. Again, I'll try and pop up the scent on the screen. I get the Lord of Misrule right away. And I wonder if these are both uh, Lush scents. I know Lord of Misrule is, but the Twisted Mermaid, this together, this combination smells like something I've smelled in Lush. And I think I like it. I won't know until it's warmed up, but as of right now, I'm digging that. And then the last thing I picked up was a baby doll bag, which is nine to nine and a half ounces for eleven fifty. In the scent Rice Krispie Treats, Moore's Marshmallow Fireside. And you get little little bows and roses in here. That's what that looks like. Or maybe it's just roses, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just roses. Okay. Ooh, I get the marshmallow fire side. It's definitely smoky and marshmallowy. Just mostly get the marshmallow fire side and a little bit of like that chocolate from the s'mores. I also want to eat this. <laughs> Again, I'll give you guys more reviews once they're warmed up in my I'm probably going to melt a lot of these this month because especially this one on the Christmas tree one but that was everything for this zigzag I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys have picked anything up from Scarlet Rose scents I feel like I hardly ever see her stuff hauled and she has great wax selection great scents great prices oh and I also got I believe 40% off of all of this because she was having a, a, a sale one of you guys let me know and sent me the coupon code so that was even better <laughs> but yeah I always love her stuff and it's also one that I forget to order from enough but every time I order I'm always like I need to get more I need to get more because her stuff is really good but okay thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video